What's up everybody man, back to a brand new video and we've got a really big win on our hands. It's time to celebrate because we have just gotten the first official announcement of the next Toho Godzilla movie. It is officially on its way greenlit and in production or pre-production. But either way, we've got some details about it and so let's get into it. Starting out, I know this video is going to overshadow the other one I uploaded, so I just want to shout it out. If you could, go check out the new video I posted, showing off unboxing and reviewing the brand new Godzilla plushies from Toho Godzilla and T-Turtle. They're wonderful little plushies. T-Turtle quickly became my favorite sponsor I've worked with. I had a lot of fun making that video, and so I want to say go check that one out. I know that one's going to be kind of obscure, so I want to give it some love. But anyways, let's get into the news. Oh man, yes! <laughs> This is what this is what I've been waiting for. Toho's next Godzilla movie has been confirmed, and I could not be happier with the details we've gotten about it. To begin with this special emergency Godzilla news and updates announcement video, I want to show off some art really quickly. This first piece comes to us from Senpai Yolo, and this is his Godzilla Ginza Attack mini canvas thing that he's done. Wonderful artwork, I love it. Obviously recreating one of my favorite moments in the movie when Godzilla swipes through all the buildings, and then he shows the size of the mini canvas, and it's smaller than a key keyboard. Wonderful art for such a mini canvas. I love that. Sakuri Godzilla, I think, reshared this image or it's like a touched up version of one of their older Godzilla Minus One art pieces that we've shown off before. I love it. It's very gruesome with Godzilla stomping a person's hand down there. The flames, the smoke, the contrast is just a very horrific image and I love it. it. Captures the horror of Godzilla very well. This one is just incredible. This is Flickr Blue 1999's Godzilla Broadcast Edition artwork. I call it that because he posted it to celebrate that Godzilla Minus One had its first First broadcast in Japan. This is just an incredible piece. I could not love it more. I want to show it off because I think it is so amazing. Huge shout out Flickr Blue 1999. That's amazing. Another one that I really, really love comes to us from Dan Dagoglass. I hope I said that mostly right. From Dan Dagoglass. This is another artwork posted to celebrate the Godzilla Minus One broadcast in Japan featuring Noriko transforming into a Godzilla hybrid with Godzilla looming behind her and the smoke of the mushroom cloud behind her as well. This is a wonderful art piece. I think that this one is just fantastic. I hope something like this doesn't happen to Noriko in the sequel. She just doesn't deserve it, but it is a really nice art piece and I wanted to show it off because of how cool it is and how much I love it. And also because it ties into the theme of today's video. Well, it's a good thing I started doing Godzilla news and updates, talking about the potential for Godzilla minus one sequel when I did, hinting that we would hear what Toho is going to be doing next real soon. It's a good thing I started doing those when I did, isn't it? <laughs> As I said in a recent video, wink, wink. Because that is right, Toho released an emergency announcement, Takashi Yamazaki returning as writer, director, and visual effects supervisor for the new Godzilla film. Their next Godzilla film has been greenlit. So they announced that the new Godzilla film has been production greenlit, and further updates are to come. They then posted on their website a follow-up announcing that the next Godzilla film from Toho has been greenlit and is in works with director Takashi Yamazaki returning in all of the roles he returned for Godzilla Minus One. Yamazaki he announces his return with this video. I believe he's in New York during this. I don't know why. Maybe it's because he was there for the recent screening of Godzilla Minus One that happened in New York where he did a director's Q&A and he just didn't have time to film this when he got back to Japan. Or maybe it's a hint that he's teaming up with American Studios as we either have or will talk about in an upcoming Godzilla Minus One news and update. That is something he's talked about for a while now. Since the Oscars, he's wanted to partner with US Studios for this next movie and so maybe that's what's happening here. Is he's in New York to talk to some American Studios. I would be willing to bet it's more than likely though just because he was there for the recent screening that happened. It was the screening of the new re-released version of the movie with the bonus material, and then there was a Q&A afterward. It's a very quick little announcement. He says he has wonderful news. He'll be directing the next Godzilla film. Please stay tuned. He then followed up on Twitter doubling down saying, I will do it. He posted a thank you for Mom Dan Kiri's excited reaction video showing their excitement for his announced return, and then followed up by thanking Sakuri for their reaction showing off the same thing. IGN, as well as many other news reports, followed reporting on this information 
addition to Godzilla Minus One's director, Takashi Yamazaki will be back to direct the next Toho live-action Godzilla film. I've been hearing for a while now, and by that I mean almost exactly one year, that we would have to wait until around November 3rd, 2024 to find out what's going on with the next Godzilla film, and I'm happy to say that that did happen. It was not the announcement that I thought it was going to be, but it's even better. What's very interesting about this is that Yamazaki doesn't confirm he's back to work on a Godzilla Minus One sequel, although as we've talked about in my Godzilla Minus One news and updates, especially recently the ones that I'm posting, that's what he wants to do. He wants to make a sequel to Minus One, he wants it to be with the same characters, however much time passes in the real world, that's how much time he wants to pass in the film. He wants all the characters to return, their story to continue, he's got a lot of ideas, and he wants Godzilla to fight another monster in it. This hopefully dispels the rumor that Toho was only wanting to do anthology installments with new directors each time, no sequels, and hopefully it disproves the rumor that Toho wasn't wanting Godzilla to move on beyond solo movies, that they wanted to keep solo entries. I mean, it's entirely possible that this next one could be a sequel to Godzilla Minus One as another solo Godzilla installment. I would be willing to bet that it won't be. We've actually never seen a sequel movie where Godzilla shows back up and it's a solo movie other than like 85 if we're willing to count that. We've never seen two movies released in the same era that are both solo movies in the same continuity, one back to back. So that could be interesting, but I, I don't think that's the direction they'll go and I hope it's not. What's really interesting about this announcement is that they did not announce that it's a Godzilla Minus One sequel. They announced that Takashi Yamazaki, director of Godzilla Minus One, is returning to direct the next Toho Godzilla movie. And so it is possible that he's going to return to direct an anthology piece set outside of the Godzilla Minus One continuity, as that was another thing we have talked about on the channel ever since the release of Godzilla Minus One, that it's entirely possible Yamazaki returns to do another anthology installment, and maybe then he can do something entirely different, maybe something a little more like Godzilla the Ride, where Godzilla fights King Ghidorah and things are a little more fantastical. Also, there's been recent developments where Yamazaki's talked about how he's interested in doing a Godzilla vs. Hedera remake, or there's other interviews where he talks about other classic Godzilla characters that he would like to introduce into another movie and have Godzilla go to war with. All this to say, we don't know what's coming next. We don't know what the next movie is going to be. We don't know when it'll be. We don't know what Yamazaki's got cooking. But if I was a betting man, I would put my money on the fact that it will be a Godzilla Minus One sequel and it will continue the story of those characters. And if I had to guess, I would say it probably will not be a solo movie just because of how much he's talked about other monsters being involved if he gets to move forward. I'd love to see the budget be bigger on this one. I would also love to see this movie be a little more international. I know that's another thing Yamazaki wanted was an international cast and like I said earlier, another studio from somewhere else in the world, particularly the US, to team with Toho to co-create the movie together. I think that's a really wonderful opportunity and I hope they do that. But who knows? Who knows? It could very well be another anthology movie. It could be another solo movie set in a different timeline. We don't know. I don't think that's going to be the case. It just doesn't seem likely. But I, I do think that it will be a Godzilla Minus One sequel. I'm very optimistic for it. And there's no one else I'd be more excited about than director Takashi Yamazaki. I'm very curious to see where things go from here. And I am very excited. And if again, if I had to guess, based on the timetable Toho typically works on, we get the announcement about one year before the movie comes out. That's generally speaking, that's how it's gone. It was kind of that way with Shin Godzilla. We found out in 2015, I believe. If I'm remembering correctly, we found out in early 2015 that there was going to be a Toho Godzilla movie, and then it sure enough came out in mid-2016. I think the anime movies, I'm pretty sure we heard rumblings about them about a year before the first one came out. Certainly with Godzilla Minus One, they did the announcement, and then a year later, the movie came out. And so the fact that they're announcing this, it makes me think that that's probably going to be the case, is that around this time next year, the movie might come out. But who knows? Who knows? Further updates to come, and I will be here to report them as they do. All I know for now is that I'm very excited. I could not be happier. I think Takashi Yamazaki seems like one of the nicest people who's worked on a Godzilla movie. He seems incredibly humble. He seems so excited and passionate, and I'm really happy for him. He is a huge inspiration, and he is proof that dreams can come true, and so I will be here to support him the whole way and to keep rooting for him. As always, I want to give a huge thank you to my patrons over on Patreon. If you want to check out the Patreon, you can use the link in the description below where you can get early access to content, access to the Discord community, and more. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you all next time for the next one. D-Man out.